of your victim. You've chosen to be a warrior. I have no choice. She leaves behind her husband, former Divine Alls drummer Charlie Drayton. Chrissy Amphlett was 53. And we'll hear from music guru Molly Meldrum shortly for his thoughts on Chrissy's remarkable career. The surviving are to our top story, the death of music great Chrissy Amphlett. For more, I'm now joined by Molly Meldrum. Good afternoon to you, Molly. A sad day for Australia's music industry and, and a sad day for you as well. You knew her well. Yeah, she became a really good uh, friend. Uh, she, at the very start, I've got to admit, uh, when the vinyls first hit, and uh, there was Chrissy, uh, I found her very sort of daunting. In fact, she actually frightened me. Um, oh my God, you know? And uh, after a while, we, we became very good friends. And in that time, I mean, I think like everyone else in Australia, uh, we learned to absolutely love the Divinals and, uh, and respect uh, such talent uh, that she had. Molly, I Touch Myself reached number four in the US and number ten in the UK. A huge achievement uh, for anyone on the international stage, but this girl was from Geelong and she did it. I know, and unfortunately her mum followed the wrong football team, but I won't go into that. Um, <laughs> but actually, I remember the first time I ever heard I Touch Myself, because by this stage I've become a Divinals fan, and even still daunted by Chrissy. And I remember going down to the Prince of Wales in Melbourne uh, to the hotel and they were upstairs where the, the group used to play. And I was still running up the front and she actually previewed this song, I Touched Myself. I went, huh? And I thought, oh my God, she's going too far now. <laughs> and um, a little did I know <laughs> that, uh, that that was going to be, as you said, uh, a major hit, uh, not only in Australia and then New Zealand, but then in the UK and also in the US. Yeah. Molly, and of but course... But she was more than that. She was more than... Sorry, Ray. Yeah, I just want to say, you're going to go on to say it was more than that, but I suppose the legacy now that she leaves is not just music. She's helped focus more attention on breast cancer and also on multiple sclerosis as well. Well, that as well. I mean, what she did, um, uh, who became a very credible uh, artist in her own right uh, with the Divinals, uh, is, I mean, like, when you take it songs like Pleasure and Pain and Boys in Town, I mean, they were great, great songs, you know? As you said, like, international success. But then, you know, when I saw her in the Blood Brothers, the film, uh, sorry, the, play, the stage show with Russell Crowe, I realised, my God, she's an actress as well. And then when she uh, played Judy Garland um, in uh, Boy From Oz with uh, Todd McKinney, uh, and, uh, and that was very successful in this country, it was just, it was absolutely brilliant, you know? Yeah, um, she was. And she just, um, and then what she went on to do, and I was so happy for her when um, she uh, got married to Charlie, the drummer, and uh, it was just, um, and with Drado, with Charlie Drado and herself, she was just so happy. And then all this happens, you know, she got very sick, uh, and it seemed so cruel, you know, because without a doubt, and she was honoured with the Hall of Fame by Aria. And if anyone really deserved such an award, uh, it was her because she was not only a pioneer of what she fought for with breast cancer and all of that, but also in all the causes she took up, but as a uh, performer, uh, the lead singer of the Divinals, one of the first female acts to really, really hit a band in this country. And then when you look at her act acting, I once asked her, I said, how come you go from Chrissy Amphlett and then later you used to terrify me and then you do a brilliant job as Judy Garland in Boy From Oz and as you yeah. she gave me a wink, a bit of a smile, you said, <laughs> same character, Molly. Yeah, and she I'm, was. Oh, really? And yeah. I've got to say this, recently uh, for Channel 7 for the Sunday show, I, sure. uh, about a year and a half ago, I interviewed Liza Minnelli and Liza uh, had actually seen some f footage of her uh, performing as Judy Garland and she said to me do you know Chrissy Amphlett because um, Liza also was a fan of the Divinals and that's why I touched myself but she said that is the best one's ever portrayed my mother she was a very talented woman indeed unfortunately Molly we'll have to leave it there but thank you very much for joining us right, this Rebecca. afternoon the uh, Australian and music you look lost... gorgeous Rebecca oh, <laughs>
Thank you very much, very much, Molly. Good to see you too. Okay. And of course, Seven okay. News at six and Sunrise tomorrow morning will have more tributes from those closest to Chrissy Amphlett.